Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, I'm a strong believer that in 2019, right now is the best time for you to be a photographer, a fine art artist, an interior design photographer and making it in digital photography. You may think it's a complete oversaturated market because everybody's got a camera and I don't know how many millions of photos are being loaded on Instagram every second, but it's not. Here is the key. The key is you gotta have a consistent feed. You gotta have a consistent portfolio where you come out where every photo is spectacular. It doesn't have something wrong with it. It's got a great composition. It's got a great colors. It's got a great retouching. It just creates an emotional impact. Here's the problem is that a lot of people, you know, they have like a, an 80 photo portfolio and 20 photos are amazing, 40 are good and 20 are average. And that's what's killing them. I once made a deal with Nike and uh, I asked the Nike buyer, why did you pick me uh, for your campaign? It was a beautiful sunset of Los Angeles they picked. They said, well, I'll tell you why we picked you for two reasons. One, you had very little photo on your portfolio and two, every photo was spectacular. And it really hit me, you know, now I got a six book deal. I just came out with my number five and six, Paris and New York in color. I also have my work in over 100 galleries around the world in the biggest, largest art network on the planet, Yellow Corner. I've been published in over probably 600 magazines by now for my books, for my fine art work. And the only reason I have this success is because I have a consistent portfolio about Paris, New York, Venice, Los Angeles. You know, people can recognize my style and every photo, you might not like my style, you know, you might find it too saturated, but at least it's consistent. Luckily for me, a lot of people love this kind of photography. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use what I could possibly think is the best plugin ever for Lightroom called Luminar Flex. It's actually the new version of Luminar, which is really made as a plugin for Lightroom, Lightroom 3. It does things that Lightroom cannot do. It can do everything that Lightroom can do, but also except file management. I don't think they're really good on file management. They're not quite there yet. But for the retouching part, it can develop your raw files and it can do a whole bunch of other things that I don't even know how to do in Photoshop. So let me show you a couple of examples. So Luminar 3 uses artificial intelligence, for example, to, you know, to do effects like this, where it's gonna analyze the photo and find the different features that needs to be improved and the one that needs to not be improved, you know. And it works really well also on portrait. They give you like a whole video explaining how the technology of artificial intelligence works. It's amazing. If you're already on an older version, this update is completely free for you. If you don't have it, use the code PHOTOSEARCH. The link is below this video to get it. It's a must-have plugin. All right. Also in this video, I'm gonna give you a few raw files you can play around with in Lightroom and in Luminar to see for yourself. Amazing 42 million Sony A7R 3 files. And all you have to do to download them is click the link that's below any of my YouTube videos here. You just click on the link and it's gonna take you to this page. All you have to do is put in your email address, click sign up for free, put in your first name, last name, and put in a password. And voila, it takes you to your library and, it just, and you just click on view and you got the, all the source files, all the Sony A7R files. Now, if you already are subscribed to my uh, uh, website, when you click on it, all you have to do is put in your email address and click sign up for free, and it's gonna add it to your library. That's all. All right, so let's jump over to Lightroom and see. So this is a photo I shot last week of the beautiful view from the Tour Montparnasse of Paris. I'm gonna go to the develop module and I'm gonna do what I can in Lightroom by you know opening up the shadows, I'm gonna boost my whites, my blacks. I'm gonna lower you know, the, the highlights. I'm gonna do a contrast there. Maybe you know, change a little bit, add some magenta, because I'm crazy about magenta. Maybe add this. I think I wanna crop the photo, so I'm gonna go 16 by nine. That's one of the format I give to my gallery the most. You know, maybe make a little gradient here for the top of the sky. You know, with maybe adding a bit of blue. Voila. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little circle here to uh, make the sky pop a little bit. So invert, feather it. I'm gonna double click on effects. So when you double click on effect, every, everything comes down to zero. And then I'm gonna um, basically just add a bit of yellow, magenta and saturation just for this part here. And I love the photo. But now let's right click, edit into Luminar Flex and see if we can do something with it. So I'm gonna choose edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment because it's gonna take into account everything that we've done so far and put it over Luminar. So now we are in Luminar. If you don't know Luminar, 
Uh, it's a very easy uh, interface to understand. Okay, basically you have these two little buttons here. When you click on this one on the right, you've got a whole bunch of uh, sliders there. And when you click there, you've got a whole bunch of presets. So you can go here, uh, click on portrait. I can go to professional presets and, you know, and see what they look like. Some are, some are not gonna work, some are gonna be too saturated. That's the problem with preset, but I'll show you how to adjust them. Uh, I can go, for example, on landscape, you know, autumn colors. I mean, look at this, autumn colors. Look, already it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Or, and that's what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click reset all. And by default, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna clear the workspace. So what is a workspace? A workspace is a series of filters that they have. And I'm gonna take the image aware workspace, which is just a bundle, a series of filters. And the first one is the famous Exxon artificial intelligence. And what it does when you just move it to the right is it analyzes the photo and basically tries to just improve it for you on colors, on saturation, on details. It does so many things, it's crazy. So I don't, I'm only using it at 26%. And then we have the sky on answer. I love this one. It's gonna work more on the sky. Look at this. This one I'm gonna put almost all the way. Golden hour, let's see. Ooh, yeah, golden hour. But this one, you gotta be very careful. This one is gonna take all your reds and your yellows and it's just gonna boost it. But it does it in a way that even I have a hard time doing it in Lightroom. So, but be gentle with that slider. So just a little bit. Foliage on answer, I don't think I'm gonna use. And advanced contrast. Now advanced contrast is contrast on steroid. What it does, it analyzes the photo by highlights, medium, and shadows, and you can just use these sliders. For example, highlights is gonna make all the highlights just more contrasty. So I'm gonna do it a little bit. And then we have the mid-tones. Mid-tones, no, I don't like what it does. And shadows, ooh, I like what it does on shadows. Now I think the photo is too saturated now. Let's see the before and after. It's really on steroid, so I'm going to lower the overall uh, saturation. And you can go all the way here, or you can go, yeah, I'm gonna go like minus 24, because what I want is some of that, uh, it's just to pull out more information. That's really what I'm looking for, not necessarily make it into like a crazy HDR looking kind, kind of photo. I just wanna have more details. Okay, now, what if there was a way to really make the details explode, but locally? I'll give you one trick, never, 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 open the door to a vampire, and I'm kidding. Never use details too much on the overall photo. So one way of doing that is I can add a filter and I'm gonna add the famous de detail on enhancer that they have, okay? Now the detail on enhancer, if I use like small details, medium details, and large details, the whole photo is gonna look like a drawing. I mean, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see, you can zoom in here, 100%, and it's just, it looks like a bad HDR very, very detailed. And you can see here on any filter before and after what that filter did. Now, I like the idea of this detail, but just a little bit. So every filter has got this little brush. I can click here and by default, it's on paint. And here is what's amazing about it. When you start painting, it's gonna create a mask and basically only where you paint, it's gonna be effective and everywhere else is gonna disappear. So I'm just gonna paint here a little bit and now the details are just where I painted. Let's zoom in again at 100% because it, it's kind of harder to see on the video. And uh, you can see it's not everywhere, but it's on some places and it makes it a lot more natural. Okay, fit to screen. And if you think it's too much, you can just click on erase. Maybe uh, have the opacity of your eraser to be like at 30%, maybe a bigger brush. And I'm just gonna brush here and it's gonna erase 30% of the effect, okay? Now, I'm liking this, let's check it out. Before, after, before, after. Believe me, this on a big, big print, it's gonna make a huge difference. So I'm gonna click on done. And let's take the next photo, let's take something else. A photo taken with my daughter last week. So I'm gonna open up the shadows a little bit, but not the highlights. You have to be more gentle when it comes to portrait because portrait retouching is completely different from landscape or cityscape retouching. Maybe do a little bit of black, do a little bit of white. I think I wanna make it even more warmer, a bit of magenta, just a little tad. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm gonna right click and edit into Luminar Flex. Use edit to copy with Lightroom adjustment, absolutely 100%, because I want to take into account what we've done so far and continue in Luminar. Okay, so here we are in Luminar and I'm going to go to 
the portrait presets and um, let's see here, dreamy portrait. Look, I like what dreamy portrait does, but not to her face. So how can we do that? Because the dreamy portrait preset is a whole bunch of different sliders, not just one. So Luminar is an amazing option. You can work with layers. Let me show you. I'm first gonna go here and I'm gonna reset everything. All right, and I'm gonna go to the workspace that's called portrait. And let's see what I can do here. Uh, maybe add a bit more contrast on the highlights, mid-tones, no, yeah, mid-tones a little bit, shadows, oh yeah, shadows a little bit, kind of cool, detail on answer, definitely not, soft glow, yes, maybe a little bit of soft glow, okay, I like that, but now I want to get this uh, dreamy portrait effect, but not everywhere, so I can go here and add a new adjustment layer, and on that adjustment layer, I can click on the preset, and now it's going to apply it all these sliders is going to be applied to this adjustment layer. And now I can take here, same thing, I can take a brush and I can just add the effect where I want it or take it out. I just want it everywhere except on her face. So I'm going to erase it from her face so that it's brighter. Voila. And check it out. Before, after. Look at this. It's a complete different style of photo. I'm going to click on done. Let's take another example really quick. Uh, love this photo that I shot with um, the Senate in Paris, uh, but I hate the colors. So I'm going to go and maybe open with shadows, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do my white and black. And I remember I played around with like the white balance and I, you know, because the water was so green and the sky had some kind of weird color. I just didn't like the color so much. So I'm going to right click, edit, and I'm going to go into Luminar Flex. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment as usual. So on this one, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna to go to creative, and I'm gonna use the remarkable preset. I love that preset, remarkable. It makes like a sort of a sepia image, completely crazy. And you can see here is the amount of the preset. I can take it all the way or just add it a little bit. And you know, I just love the look that it gives. Not, I'm going 63% on this and boom, click apply and that's it. Let me show you one more example. This is a photo that I shot last week. I love frame in a frame. And yet this is the uh, Académie Française, which is framed between old buildings. So I'm gonna open up the shadows. I'm gonna do my white point, my black point, lower the highlights. Let's see, the white balance is kind of hard on this one. Maybe warm it up a little bit, maybe add a bit of magenta. And you know, very, very easily I was like, oh, what can I do in Lightroom? Maybe use transform to make it sort of straight. So, you know, I kind of like, oh, I don't know, I feel this could be a great photo, but what could I do in Lightroom? Well, let's jump over to Luminar Flex. So here I am in Luminar Flex, and to go fast, I'm still in the creative side of life. Let's see what Age is gonna do. Nah, blows out this blockbuster. Nah, grungy. Grungy could be cool. Let's see Remarkable. Oh, remarkable, why not? Orange and teal. No, street life. And uh, yeah, I kind of like street life, but you know what? Okay, fine. Let's go and uh, reset everything. Let's go into the uh, clear workspace to be, and I'm gonna take the image aware. And let's see, artificial intelligence filter. Ooh, I like what it does there. Sky on answer. Yes, all the way. Golden hour, little bit, not too much. Foliage on answer, was not much foliage. Oh yeah, there's a bit of green there. Pretty cool. And uh, advanced contrast, highlights maybe, mid-tones, shadows. I'm gonna desaturate the photo, maybe add a bit of structure and desaturate the photo a little bit. Okay, let's see here. I think on this one, let's see the before and after. Yeah, it's already a big change. And I already retouched this in Lightroom. So let's go and let's add a filter. And I'm gonna look for a vignette filter. They have a cool vignette. You have it also in Lightroom but I want to do it here. So vignette, um, I'm gonna go left, size. Yeah, I want to vignette this photo, roundness, let's see. Feather, yeah, something like that, inner light. Okay, I kind of like that. I think I want to do a double development, so I'm gonna add a, a development filter. Develop, which is basically like Lightroom. And I'm gonna lower again the highlights a little bit. I'm gonna crush my blacks, boost my whites, add some contrast, and I'm gonna lower the saturation. 
let's see here saturation yeah i'm going to lower the saturation even more something like that and now i'm like i'm starting to like the photo a lot you know maybe even lower the saturation even more you know and uh, voila and let's apply this so that is luminar flex give it a shot upgrade it if you if you bought it in the past or just get it using the code photo search to get 10% off it's a limited offer you will love this plugin i really think right now it's the most complete plugin that there is uh, for lightroom and for photoshop by the way guys i have a free gift for you if you leave me a comment and if you like this video i will pick one person and i will offer him my new paris book like this video it really helps me produce more free content for you and I read every single comment. Tell me what you would like to learn. Tell me what you think of this video. And I will pick one of you guys and send you my new Paris book in color. Click here. This is a special place that's going to show you more and more examples of Luminar. Just go on to it. You'll love it.